Hello and welcome to the uh, vMix panel builder introduction video. The uh, panel builder application is uh, it's a customizable virtual controller for vMix. Basically you can design your own panels and uh, control vMix from them. It, uh, it'll run on a PC, a Mac, it'll also run on Android tablets and iPads. And uh, all these versions are free. Um, you don't have to have any programming experience. Uh, most of the shortcuts are available in the pull-down menus, so it's pretty easy to program and uh, fairly quick um, to, uh, to build your own panels. Uh, but you should actually uh, be a little familiar with the vMix uh, shortcuts, and that you can find those shortcuts in the info uh, uh, the user guide uh, uh, for vMix. You can download that from the vMix site as well. So uh, in this video, I'm just going to highlight the basic features of the panel builder, and uh, I'll make some uh, videos uh, later on on uh, specific uh, functions of uh, how to uh, how to do certain things with it. So here we go. So uh, now there's two different types of uh, uh, panels you can build. So let's just open here. There's a new desktop, as you can see up here, and the new tablet. So if we go to a new desktop one, basically it will open up um, a blank page for you. And what this one is, is a sizable, basically a sizable uh, control panel. So you can make it to whatever size to fit somewhere in the corner of a screen if you want, or if you only have a few buttons to, to put in, you could uh, make a smaller panel, for example. So I'll show you an example of one of those. Um, I'll choose the uh, desktop files. Uh, here's a fairly simple one here that uh, that I had built for a certain show. So it's something pretty small. It was just sending uh, uh, commands to the different program outputs and the preview and a bit of um, audio controls and such and some of the buttons for streaming. Uh, so, you know, this is sizable. I had made it that particular size. Now, the other one is made for uh, if you're going to design a panel for a tablet or an iPad, you would go new tablet and that will give you a specific size here that's designed for the iPad or the tablets. You cannot size this. Okay, no matter if you click on it, it won't be sized because it's got the right format that's needed for the for the tablets. I'll open one up to show you what uh, it can look like. Um, let's start with something like this one here. This one was done for just a simple show as well not too many uh, things to do. You can see you can put logos and things all over. There's uh, different icons you can use and uh, this only had a few cameras and a couple items that were playing back. Uh, here's another one that uh, is actually this was used for volleyball and uh, this one here is a little bit more uh, more controls on it. You can see all the overlay controls are over here you got your program and preview bus, you can cut and fade, etc. In this corner, there's some commands or buttons for controlling the replays. Uh, there's also some controls for the scoreboard. So that was for the overlay, the title uh, scoreboard overlay. And then controls for the outputs and controls as well for the audio. So this was sort of a one person operation thing where you could uh, um, control the sporting event. In this case, it was a volleyball event. Uh, what I am going to do is load uh, a tablet here, um, that or one that was designed for a tablet, and this was designed for a show here. Now I've got this show running currently on vMix, so what I'm going to do is have it show up over here on this output, um, which this is an NDI output. So in the NDI window here, I'm actually looking at my vMix output too. And I've put uh, in this panel, I've, uh, I can control that output so I can see different things. Currently it's on black. Here would be the multi-view. You can see it put up a multi-view. I could look at the preview uh, window, the output window. Here's one of the videos that was playing. So I selected a few different inputs. Uh, this is actually the desktop of the vMix uh, program running. So you can see there's a whole bunch of other inputs here. So uh, I'll just leave it on multi-view for now just to show you what it can do. So uh, basically down here in this bottom part of this panel is you can control program and preview. So if you notice then I'll watch up on the top screen here you'll see as I cut 
at the program and preview uh, are actually toggling as they should and they will tally your buttons as well so you can have different uh, colors for tally that's all programmable within the program itself within the vmix panel builder program um, once you design um, a panel uh, for an iPad then you can take this panel and sync it to your tablet or your iPad and I'll show that in a little more detail in another uh, in another video uh, this was uh, uh, mix 2 if you look at mix 2 here that you can see down in the bottom left of the uh, the NDI window you can see how you can also control your mix 2 uh, different uh, different inputs etc and you can cut to them and fade from them exactly etc you could have mix 2 on your output uh, show up on the output so this would be similar to having an mix effects uh, switcher like a 4ME switcher uh, other thing here uh, for example you could turn on uh, music here's some music feed I can turn it on I could control the levels here just by uh, bring them up and down okay and uh, you see that you get views according to the music as well or whatever your audio inputs are so that's uh, um, the audio portion the uh, switching portion for your program and preview. Uh, here's uh, the titling. Um, I can put the title in the preview. You'll see the title here. It's kind of the same color, so it's a little hard to see. I can put that to the output, and you will see the output. What I'll do here is I'll switch uh, my NDI monitor to the output so that you can see what's going on. There you go. And if I put it back on preview, of course, you won't see it. It fades into the output. Um, also here I had a timer you can see the timer up in the output so all of these things as well they will uh, they will toggle um, or not toggle they will tally you'll get the color uh, of the button change as the different uh, commands are sent so that's a quick overview of uh, what the panel builder can do and uh, I'll go into some more detail uh, in the other videos I don't want to make them too long don't want to bore you. So uh, there'll be some other videos coming out as well on how to use the different features and uh, some of the little tricks and tips as well. Hopefully uh, it's got your attention and uh, that hopefully we get a few more users uh, using the application. Nice talking to you and we, well, I hope to uh, see you again soon. Bye for now.